If I look at non-Newtonian fluid flow in a radial Heeley-Shaw cell, a Heeley-Shaw cell is basically two parallel glass plates that are separated by a really small distance. So that could, you know, range, but for instance, it could be like one millimeter. So it's essentially 2D and it's radial. So I'm injecting fluid from below through the injection site using a syringe pump. There's a camera overhead and a light source underneath. The non-Newtonian fluid that I'm using is xanthan gum. It's a shear thinning fluid. So its viscosity is going to decrease as the shear rate increases. So over here you have the syringe pump here and we're injecting the xanthan gum through this hole here. And in between the cells we have a salt water solution that uh, is just the resident solution. So we're injecting fluid in and it advances radially. Like this image here, the xanthan gum would be the yellow color here while the resident salt water solution would be the blue here. But after we inject the fluid, we pull it back through the injection site so it fills back into the syringe. And that's going to be the withdrawal phase over here. Now what's interesting about the withdrawal phase is that we have a less viscous fluid, the salt water, chasing the higher viscous xanthan gum. So we have an unstable interface where instabilities are forming. What we're interested in looking at is how changing uh, the aperture, the gap between the two glass plates, and the injection rate for the syringe pump that's going to be affecting the shear rate that the fluid experiences and that's also going to change the instabilities that are forming in the withdrawal phase. So these two images up here are from a aperture of 2.5 millimeters and the two images here, injection and withdrawal, have an aperture of 0.76 millimeters, so it's smaller. And since we have a smaller aperture, there's more shear that's experienced and we have this mixing zone that's developing around the fluid. And this mixing fringe has not been observed before, so it's an interesting phenomena that we're trying to quantify. So with this mixing zone, it directly impacts the withdrawal phase because we have more instabilities forming um, since the interface is, is, has you know, more irregularities or so.